Of course, it's never that easy. Sometimes you have to integrate by parts twice. So let's look at this example, x squared e to the 3x. Again, by Lipid, Lipid good, um, we're going to do the polynomial first. So the u is equal to x squared. The dv is e to the 3x dx. We take the derivative of u and we get 2x dx. We integrate v and we get 1 third e to the 3x, because when I take the derivative of that, I would get back to e to the 3x dx. So we would then have, this is equal to u times v, so 1 third x squared times e to the 3x minus the integral of 1 third e to the 3x times 2x dx. So that's all fine and dandy, but we're not yet at a place where I can just integrate that. So I will have to do a u substitution, or I'm sorry, not a u substitution. I will have to integrate by parts a second time. Again, the u is going to be equal to x. The dv is going to be equal to e to the 3x dx. Notice I pulled those constants out of the integration. I don't need to confuse myself with that at all. The du, again, like our previous example, is just dx, and v is identical to last time, which is 1 third e to the 3x. So now I got all of this together, minus, and we're going to put the 2 thirds, and then brackets, because all of this is going to be x times 1 third e to the 3x, minus the integral of e to the 3x dx. Finally, 1 third x squared e to the 3x minus, and let's go ahead and do the distributive property here. This is going to be 2 ninths x e to the 3x plus 2 thirds times 1 third e to the 3x, and we'll throw in or plus C at the end. Let's try not to forget to do that. And I think I've actually made an error here. Yes, I forgot this one third. So this is going to actually be an extra one third in here. So this is going to work out to be 1 third x squared e to the 3x minus 2 ninths x e to the 3x plus 2 over 27 e to the 3x plus c.